everybody, it's Mike here at Find Your Cards, face to the hands this time, a few of you have been along for a few of my breaks. Uh, yeah, I just get started a little different this time before I get into the formalities. Uh, I want to bring up my monster break, which is going to be absolutely huge. It's happening next weekend, likely going to be on Saturday. Um, going to be live on blog TV, we're going to have it all set up, probably going to have a beer in my hands while I do it, but it should be a good time, 10-11 the cup, uh, two tins of 11-12 the cup, plus this box of Dominion, and this box of Panini Prime, and many, many more good boxes, and also the box we're going to do right now, there's going to be a couple boxes of that, we got Captain C, we got two boxes of Heroes and Prospects, so if we pull in Nathan McKinnon or Seth Jones, those will get randomized off, and for example today I got a sweet hit, went down to the local card store and pulled a Morgan Riley black jersey. All right, though what you guys are here for, of course, is the box break of 1011 Panini Pinnacle. So I'm not going to mix up the order completely, but we're going to switch up a little bit. I'm going to read the serial number first this time. All right, and I'm listening to hockey in the background, 2-2, when I first stepped over here. So, of course, finish this up. Hopefully it's still going, or hopefully the Leafs win. All right, serial number in this box is ME. Eight nine nine one one two three seven, and I'll flash it up here for all y'all. I did an early morning break there yes yesterday, or actually this morning, and of course comes in a little clearer at that point in time. But today I do do it at night. I like to do it after the auction finishes, and then also for a couple of you there yesterday. Sorry about the little freeze out on the computer there. That was the weirdest experience. Had a little blackout. Never had that before. Part work during the break, but it was a sweet, nice box. A couple of nice auto, a few nice game news. So hopefully everybody's happy. Um, all right, so now we're going to get to the formalities. I'm going to turn you guys over to my other computer screen here, and we will start off. All right, so I will drop off this cam shot in a minute here, and then we will get the last auction, which was won by Rich54321, and that would be for the Winnipeg Jets, aka Atlanta Thrashers, and alright, we will go to current time, and current time, of course, will be Eastern Standard Time. All right, so we got Saturday, February 23rd, 2013, 21.40.07 Eastern Standard Time. All right, also got random.org open. Pretty much Team Pinnacle's the big one for that here. Okay, but it's time to get down to the break. I will also cover who got each team. We got Rich54321 and a bunch of teams, so glad to see you along for all these breaks. All right. Oh, I just dropped you guys. I'm having some little technical difficulties. That's right. More time with the better. Gonna have some fun with this. Alright. That's a little better. You guys are back in the spot there. Okay. So we got Oilers, Canadians, Whalers, Leafs. Alright. The box. The team list. Okay. Over the team list we go. Actually, the day I was hoping to go to the local card show too, but I mistimed it. Forgot it was 9 to 1 and headed in town about 12 o'clock, so I didn't make it, as you can imagine. Uh, but that's alright. Like I say, I stopped by the store and also actually pulled an SPX Legends Bobby Orr, but met up with one of our, one of my fellow guys who likes to come along for the breaks in town and we end up doing a little trade for that one. Okay, guys, uh, now it's time to get in the box. What are you all here for? Give a little slice there. Tear off some plastic. There we go. Have that souk. Okay. So far, one of the goals of the year. Oh, I think Sam Gagne tonight with his shootout winner. Might have had the goal of the year. Of course, not quite the same thing during a shootout. There you go. I'm sorry about a little cough there. We got 24 packs. 8 packs, I mean, 8 cards are sitting there for so per box. Whatever I'm trying to say, empty box. 
all gone. Alright, so we got a few fat packs mixed in there, some regular ones, of course lots of decoys in these, so really fat packs mean nothing. Um, there are a couple boxes ago I pulled out fans of the game. Ryan DeWolf from Anger Management, that was pretty cool. Last box was Nick Foy 2, Tough Times. Alright, go through base relatively fast. Lots of cards in these boxes. Don't go too fast because the others proof are tough to pick up sometimes. Lots of later tonight when we watch the Ronda Ramsey UFC fight. That's going to be a good one. Shouldn't pull off another round bar. I'm quite a big UFC fan, so I try to stay up and watch those. Of course, quite late here on the East Coast trying to catch those fights. Alright, so I think we got same face. Yes, we do. And for the Montreal Canadiens, we got Carey Price. Same face. Love these inserts. They're kind of the old school style inserts in that. We'll go to, of course, Rich 54321. One for you there. Okay. Oops. Sometimes you'll see me pull from the back sometimes before right when I see the hits. Sometimes I'll just carry on the hits. Depends what I feel like on that day. Ooh, and we got a team pinnacle. And this is a nice one. It's a Henrik Sedin and Steven Stamkos, and that's going to be uh, randomized off after between Rich54321 and Aaron 2 Matt, so we'll take care of that at the end. So I'll just set that over here. I'll set it on the Carolina Hurricanes, Hartford Whalers, put them right together on my little board here. for the Detroit Red Wings. That's Red Wings and Pen. Okay, we got a real fat one here. Is that going to be a decoy? Or is that? That's a decoy. Sorry guys, spoiled that on you already. I get excited myself on them, so probably should wait to the end, but hard to resist the urge. Take a peek in. But I know there's something else in here, so I get the advantage of seeing that. Let's see what the other one is. We got Jason Spezza parallel for the Senators. Alright. Next pack. Another tough times. It's Bobby Schmaltz for the Boston Bruins. Hey, Bobby. So probably next week I'm going to try to figure out a couple other breaks I'm going to go into. I got a couple boxes of uh, Zenith, I'm not sure if it's going to be that, but I'm also looking into Luxury Seat. But I might just do a Captain C for the sake of doing Captain C because I really enjoy those cards and I haven't seen one of those breaks on here in a long time. So we got Ben Smith for the Chicago Blackhawks, Icebreakers, Ben Smith. have any questions regarding the monster break the big break I'm doing just give me an email or a message you can also check it out on fycards.blogspot.ca Pierre Marc Bouchard it's the artist proof in Minnesota Wild also 
so through there I have a little bit of a discount on it between the two so contact me through there save some money why not save some money when you can alright for the New Jersey Del Devils Alexander Vastrinov So presumably is enjoying this sh short season. Everything feels more like playoff hockey so far. And set up with each team. How you do? Another big one to see was for Washington. They got to the big game today by Alexander Ovechkin with a hat trick. I'm not a Ovechkin fan, it's still good to see. I think it's good for the game of hockey for him to have big games. His personality, very charismatic. How about Michael Berry with them? Alright, so we're coming up with another hit here. We got four. Draw me, Bruce Colton Moore, City Lights. When we come back, seasons he's been having. That's number 67 of 499. That's Colton Moore for the Toronto Maple Leafs. There you go. For the Chicago Blackhawks, we got nice breakers. Brandon Peary. So we got another City Lights coming up for the Tampa Bay Marty St. And it's number 348 of 499. Marty St. Louis for the Lightning. Tampa did a really good job this particular year with their cards. They're always been nice looking. Uh, the passers for sometimes some of the smaller for a small um, window and all that they have some incredible patches. And the Christian Ehrhoff I have that's absolutely awesome. Maybe an Ehrhoff, but the patch makes it worthwhile. Check out the height difference. Daniel Breer, Chris Pronger. Breer, one of the shorter players, Pronger, one of the taller players. Gotta love it. Still remember seeing in the basketball magazine one time a picture of Muggs and Bogues standing next to Sean Bradley. And of course, uh, Bogues at 5'3 and Sean Bradley at 7'6. Looked like he was up to his hip. Oops, sorry, just flashed that in front of you, but we'll go back. I know it's for the Bruins. Whoa, -ho, sweet. It's a nice hit for the Bruins. It's a prime. It's a Dane Chara. And like I say, that's for Tigger number eight. You'll be happy with that one. It's a really nice yellow and black, and it's got a seam through it. Got the stitching. A little piece of stitching hanging, hanging up on the side there. So this is a Dane Chara prime. Man, that camera works way better in the morning than it does at night, but do what we do. And it's number 16 of 25. That's a nice one. Sedana Chara. Prime. Gotta love it. And it's still in your auto. I'm still happy with this box. It's a nice box. Mm 
it's the quality of the players you get sometimes too when you get like the same Louis and the Chara and the Price and certain you know, rookies have not like that. One of the big ones, the last box I had ever and the one before that Taylor Hall, but still it's been a good batch. Alright, and we continue with the lightning theme. Then some like Cavalier. Sweet card. Nice pick. It's coming out, I'm going to go right to it. And we got the Cobalt Pavel Datsuk, for the Red Wings. This was definitely a Tampa Bay Lightning box. Of course, now that'd be a Montreal Canadian one. Dustin Tukarski. Auto. Icebreakers. I'm really surprised with that trade because I think it's still going to be a really good one. It's number 18 of 299. I think that's one of the better ones you can get. I, like I said, I'm a bit of a fan of him. I think it could be a real good one yet. Yeah. Dustin Tukarski. two packs and both fat packs you can get an extra evenings if we're lucky instead of just all decoys we got the Nini Nidere for the New York Islanders icebreakers oops alright last pack here is guys and gals, guys and gals, what could it be? Alright. Another icebreaker is Jacob Josephson for the New Jersey Devils. So we got a couple Devils icebreakers in there. So there we go, everybody. I'm going to recap it. Actually, lots of hits, as you can see. Big stack of them. Good box in that way. Joseph's in. It's part of Pinnacle. If you ever wanted to get a box, one of the safest box, and you're going to get something out of it. Tukarski. Zetterer. Vincent LeCavalier. And of course, our big hit of the box. I don't know if Tukarski, I think, is a pretty big hit, too, personally. And the City Lights, the Dana Chara, Prime, nice Prime. Should have the Morgan around here, should show you guys that some really nice one, I was happy with it. The Marty St. Louis, Brandon Peary, and of course, with it being released on tonight, we got Colt Moore, Vasinov, Pierre Marc Bouchard. Ben Smith, Bobby Schmaltz, Jason Spezza, Brian Watson, and Kerry Price. And of course, don't forget Panini Prime, Dominion Hockey, 10 11 the Cup, you know, Taylor Hall, uh, Jeff Skinner, Jordan Eberle, lots of big ones in there. And yeah, so don't forget that. Also, after this, I'm going to do the random for the Henrik Sedin Stevens Ham Coast. So, alright, guys, check it all out. Gals, if you want, email me if you want more information on the bake. 
And or if you're interested in the team, have yourselves a good one. Take it easy, you might find your cards, and we'll talk to you again soon.